Hi guys, how is everybody doing? You're gonna hear my daughter in the background with the baby playing with him. Um, it won't be real loud. I'm coming on because I wanted to show you the very last of the Southwest that I kept, not really knowing quite what to do with it because I had to test it and see what it was. The bigger pieces, I have not gotten over to that store yet. Um, I will go tomorrow. I'll be out and about to do a few things. So, I think what I'll do is just show you these little pieces. I have some of the other necklaces that I kept back to look at, and I'm also going to sell those, and then we'll get into da, 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 the vintage. So, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too. Um, trying to think. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Um, gosh, I can't remember now. Well, anyway, this will be the one where, um, my memory lapse shows. Um, I was going to tell you guys about something. I can't, oh my gosh. I got a, I got a beautiful lot from Vintage Discoveries from Sally. So, of course, you know me, I hoard some pieces, but anyway, they are mixed in to the vintage over here. I'll try to call them out when I see them. Jen is the same way from Triple, Triple J. I have some pieces of hers, and they are just in with the group, okay? So, if I don't, you know, shout out everything... <laughs> That's you guys, Jennifer or Sally's, I'm sorry, but both of the things that I purchased from them was phenomenal. So, you know, all I can say is, woohoo, just kept ooing and on, and yeah, it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. So, let's get started. What I have here is a little, almost like a trading post type of thing. Um, these are older. These are still uh, five bucks at the time. Um, and this is genuine turquoise, which could be the reconstituted or the um, pieces that they put together, but that doesn't matter. It, they're really cute. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see anything up here. No, nope, but they're made in the USA, so that's a fabulous thing. Okay, and on the back, there's $4.95. These have never been worn, never been taken out of the pack. I just think they're darling, little road runners. And the earrings are too. They are just as cute as they can be. I wish I knew where they came from. They're in excellent shape. I don't think they're new at all. Um, they don't even have a scanner on them. So, I'm going to put 15 on this set because I know they're vintage. I know it. You know, it's just there's no way that they're not. Um, and they're new in package. And I just think they're cute. So, I'll set those over there. I'll put everything away before I start on the vintage. These two rings, I they are just plain costume pieces. Yesterday, I did the video yesterday evening. It took all night until in the morning to post, to, to load. I was not very happy. So, supposedly, they're telling me, oh, well, you've got a problem with your, I got a problem with what? Um, with your lines outside. I, I don't have TV. All I have is Wi-Fi. So I don't know what they're talking about. So they've scheduled, a, yeah, whatever. I'll be going outside telling him, look, all I have is Wi-Fi. Um, everything worked fine till yesterday. My bill is due on the 18th. Are you guys slowing down because I've gone over data or what? I don't know why they couldn't tell me that on the phone. It's just nuts. Okay, this little ring is cute. It is seven, no, six and three quarter. I'm trying to see what that is. This looks like the turquoise and coral. 
Is that a bird? Is that a thunderbird? No, you guys, this is a butterfly. <laughs> and it is cute. I do believe that's a butterfly. Let me show you. Yeah, that is too cute. Is it? Isn't that a butterfly? I like that. But you can kind of see the coral color, which could very well be, you know, coral. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't see anything on the inside of this. This looks like, almost like pewter, honestly. No, I don't see anything at all. But this is an older ring. And I can see where the pieces were laid in there. So we'll put, I think it's pretty though. I don't think it'll, it might shine up a little bit. But I don't think it'll get any worse than what it is. Um, let's put four. Next is this cute costume ring, and it is little. It is, let's see, five and a quarter. But you know what? It's really sweet. I'll show it to you. And it has what looks like, let me look, let me look. Yeah, those are pieces, like little pieces of coral and turquoise. Very well could be. And it's just so tiny, but it is so cute. I don't see anything. No. Um, I put it over my other little pinky ring, and that's sweet. So I'll put four on that one. Okay. We have two. This. I think both of these are pewter. I know this one is, and I, I'm pretty sure the wolf is. So I have two pendants. One is a wolf, and it, it'll go on a, it just needs a spring ring there, like a clasp. I don't think this has anything written on it. It's really cool though. That's the back, and that's the front. That is just gorgeous. And then the wolf is, very nice. I think he sits up. No. I think he's a necklace. He wouldn't need to sit up. There we go. He's either a necklace or a charm. You know what I mean? So, let's put four on him and on, the, on this thing. It's just beautiful. I'm going to put six. And he's little. He's lightweight. But he's um, over an inch. And he's very, in. Th this is very interesting. And the, fa the wolf is just darling. He's just howling at the moon, I suppose. Okay, n don't forget thumbs up, guys. Um, next, we have two of the little bears. And I think these are adventuring. Now, they are a jade color. But... Uh, they look like jade. They really do. They've got the little dots, the little black, dark pieces in them. But I'm not going to sell them that way. I mean, I'll just say they're a green stone. They're super cold. The bears are darling. Just darling. And I think what I'll do, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put 12 on those. Those are just too sweet. Now, we've got a turtle bracelet, which I, I think this is real turquoise. I, it's hard for me to tell. But just the way... And, and if it is, it's that real blue turquoise. And it's got a cute little turtle. And I'll show it to you up close. And I don't believe this is silver. So who am I to say <laughs> after yesterday? Now, I don't think it is. It might be um, a couple pieces on it might be. But this is really cute. This is right at seven inches. 
I must put five on it just because it has the turquoise. And then these earrings are gorgeous. I thought maybe they were turquoise, but I, I really don't think so. I just think they're a very pretty color um, bead, like bugle beads and um, seed beads. These are beautiful. And they're not sterling from what I can tell. Even that, no. Even though they're, stop it. They're flattened to make it look like maybe they could be. These are beautiful. So I'm gonna put six on these, I love these. Look at that. Beautiful pieces. Okay, so we've got those. Let me put them in the bag real quick. I'll show you the necklaces and then we're gonna start. It's actually vintage and couture, uh, it's vintage, um, nice pieces. All of them are nice pieces. Some of them are name, you know, name brand, Badgley Mishka. I've got Ink, I've got Kenneth J. Lane, I've got, um, what else do I have? Oh, God. I've got Vince Camuto. I've got Betsy Johnson. I've got some Juicy Couture. I've got... Oh, that one's um, Victoria's Secret. I've got Crazy Horse. Oh, my goodness. I've got Monet's. I've got... Trafari's. I've got some Listener. Yeah, I've got a little bit of everything, and some of it's not marked. I've got, um, what's it called? Um, oh, gosh, I can't think. Whiting and Davis. <laughs> to me, it sounds like a movie star from back in the day, Whiting and Davis. Isn't that funny? Okay. Okay, these are the necklaces that I put over to the side. I kind of straightened them out. The first fetish I'm going to sell, of course. The birds are perfect on it. I do believe it's, it's turquoise. These little shells here could be actually a jasper or... Yeah, I don't think they're shell. I think they're stone. Just from the look, and I think the turquoise is real. Just from the look of the stone, it has little, you know... I think those are stone beads. They're cold, too. Um, and then that, I don't think that any of this is sterling on here. I, do, I don't, and I'm not selling it for sterling. So on this fetish, I'm going to put 12. And I know you girls like them like I do, so... We'll put it on 12, and it is 16 inches, okay? And I'm going to hang these so that they will get rounded back out. Okay, this is a cutie. The only one that I'm keeping is the Mother of Pearl, the long one, because I want to wear it. I've got some white that I want to wear it with, a white dress. Um, this one here also, I do believe, is, and it's just over your head. I believe that those could very well be stone bead, you know, stone carved beads. All of the fetishes are great. Till you come to the center one, and it's like that. It's like its eyeball fell out. I don't know if it's missing a little bit of its bottom, but it it's just too pretty. And if nobody wants this one, because um, I'm putting 15 on it. All the birds are different. You know, they're different colors. They're different shapes. Um, they're probably different animals. It's probably a fish. Because that um, lapis looks like fish. Or sodalite. That sodalite looks like a fish. The bird looks like mother of pearl. The pink could very well be coral. Um, that looks like it could be tiger's eye or onyx. Yeah, 
So this is pretty. There's another mother of pearl shiny piece. So this one is uh, about 25 inches long. It's a long one. And um, let's see, let's put 15 on it. And like I said, I'll hang them up. Now here's another fetish. This is beautiful. This has coral on it. This is puka shell and coral and fetish birds and the mother of pearl. It's just beautiful. That little orange coral really sets this off. Isn't that pretty? I really like this. And it is right at 14 inches. It's going to be a little shorter. It's got a barrel clasp on it, so it's not too much you can do to make it longer. Um, it's really well made. It's um, in excellent condition. So I'll put 14 on this one. It's very pretty. And then the last one that I have that I didn't sell is what I think, I think, Honestly, I think this is jade. And the reason why it's kind of like the um, the earrings, the bears. These have what I see in the jade that I see, that I know is jade. And I'll show it to you. I think you might be able to see what I'm seeing. Um, there's like little striations in it. It's really cold. It's very, very pretty. And the reason why I said that is because the other pieces are like a, oh, uh, these bigger beads are a darker shade of what I think is also jade. I see the little black dots. Um, and the other pieces are malachite. And I'll show you that one. So you can see it. This deep bead here. Let's see. There we go. It has striations in it. And these are glass beads. Aren't those pretty? They've got little blue lamp work in them. Oh, here you can see this one. There we go. So this is just absolutely a gorgeous necklace. And so I'm going to put, and it's a double. It's a double, so I'm gonna put 25 on this one. Sorry guys, I can't go any lower. It's just beautiful. Um, this one is about 24 inches. And I don't believe that anything is missing or broken. I think that's the way that these are supposed to be. So we're done with that. I'm gonna hang these up because I want them to stay um, nice and rounded. I don't want them to get the way they were before. They have completely come out of that in one day, in less than one day, really. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and hang these. And they'll be hanging over here. I've got some more over here, the ones that didn't sell. I've got them hanging also and I'm trying to get them straightened out okay all right we're gonna start on the vintage this is gonna be a long one and like I said I'm not sure how long it's gonna to take to upload so I'll get this done I'm not gonna go I'm gonna have to do two three or four I'm gonna put these up before I move it I'm gonna have to do two three or four because I have quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna move this basket full of bracelets and necklaces over here. I try to stay organized. Um, I got this little bowl that's kind of full of little things. I got my bracelets here. Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna start pulling the boxes this way because I've got a whole pile of boxes, okay? 
So the first box, I, this can sit to the side. Okay. First box I have, I have two bracelets. I think these are Fornash. Yes. These are very, very nice. I've had these for a while. These are just beautiful with the navy blue. Almost cobalt but just a little bit bluer. I mean, a little bit lighter than cobalt. So we've got this one here. And then we've got the beautiful white cream with gold. They're excellent. I mean, they're in like pristine, brand new condition. And I'm selling them as a pair. Look how beautiful those look. I sell these as a pair and they're $20 for the pair. And I'll show you the inside. The insides are perfect. I'll show it to you. It's up and down this way. Where is that? Oh. There's that. And it is in beautiful condition. And then I'll show you this one. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Fornage. and it is beautiful so we'll put 20 on those next we have some earrings and I'll just set these out we have some I think these are are these Japan let's see um, no I think these are something else this might be West Germany Yes, these are West Germany. They're shells, and they are super cute. Look at those. And they're about an inch. So I'm going to put these here because I'm going to price them all the same. These are beautiful. These have no marks on them. These are like a, and these just need to be wiped off, like a checkerboard pattern faceting deep green glass or plastic. Acrylic, probably, not plastic. And there's that. Put them there. And the backs look fabulous. Okay. Then we have some little fish, and they're made out of, I think, these are made out of coconut shells, I think. But boy, they are cute. They hang at about an inch and a half, almost two inches. And they are definitely vintage and they are so cute. Got the fishies, and then these are pretty. I don't think these are marked. No, it doesn't look like it. So we have like a faux pearl with a gold tone. And then we've got the leaf with the two little rhinestones there. And that's the back. And both of them are in excellent condition. It's the back on that one. Everything's on there. And these are all three dollars a piece. Okay. Put these back in here. There's that. Okay. Set that back over here. that. I don't know why that would be there. Hold on. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, I have a beautiful set. Beautiful set here. It is actually, oh, that's cute. It is a ring set. And this, to me, looks like Sarah Coventry. I, I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. Let me check it here. Um, I don't see anything written. Hmm. I'm going to pull this up and out and see. Yeah, I don't see anything written. These are really in good shape. Look at the backs on the earrings. They're so gold. Beautiful gold tone. They are not gold. 
they're probably plated is what I'm thinking or 120th because this is just beautiful I don't see anything on it it's in great shape let me check it hmm. I don't see anything Hmm. That's amazing. Okay. So, it's a beautiful gold tone. Look at the gold. There is absolutely no wear to this. I don't know how they kept it so nice. It is like transfer wear. No, I can actually feel this. I can actually feel this. I don't know if that would be transfer wear or I'm going to show it to you up close. I can feel this one more than that one. Let's see what you guys think. Isn't that pretty? It's blue, very light baby blue with a little deeper blue flower with the yellow insert in the center with some green leaves and the ring actually can be sized and it is in fabulous condition for the age and this is right at a six and a half right now I just think it's so pretty so this three piece set right here is going to be 20 I can get it back in the hole. There we go. So there's that. Just beautiful. Very unusual to find all those and them look that good. I love this. This is a perfectly, like, it's just the most beautiful gold. Every time I see stuff like this, I think it might be gold, and I'm like, Oh my gosh. But no, it's not. And you know, there's no maker mark on this. That's kind of unusual. This looks like a Monet. Or even a Napier. Or even maybe a Trifon. <laughs> okay, anyway. This is a, a shorter one. This is right at 15. But this would be so pretty. For someone that needs a little gold tone. You know, if they're wearing gold instead of silver and um, get some little delicate earrings and put this on. So I'm gonna put, let's just put six on this, but it is, like I said, it is vintage. So what in the world happened here? Oh, no, I can't sell it like that. I don't know what happened. I think somebody tried to fix it. Look, I never noticed. Huh. Well, I'll put this over with my stuff. Sorry, guys. I didn't even see that before. I can use those beads for something. So, we've got the footsteps. This little um, pin. I think it's a little bit older. I'm sure it's vintage. Um... That's where, so the saying goes, he didn't see the feet on the sand be, beside him when he was going through his trials and tribulations. And um, God, or Jesus, or whoever, let him know that that's because I carried you. There was only two set of feet. You know, there was one set of feet, footprints, instead of two, because he carried him through all the troubles. So, that's cute. I think if anybody would like this, let me know. I'll put it in their bag or bundle or whatever you'd like. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what's on here. Oh, this is just like an old-fashioned clada. Clada. I don't think... Oh, wow. It says, love, loyalty, friendship. This is an old one. 
It's got some issues with it. It's it does. It's got some issues. If anybody'd like it, let me know. I'll sell it for a dollar. But it's still pretty. Okay. It's probably one of the ones that I think Avon sold. And I think they were silver plate. And that looks like some of the plate. I mean, the front doesn't look bad at all. As you can tell. Let me give you a size real quick before I forget. It's a bigger one. It is. Right at a 10. It's about 10 and a quarter. So I'll set that there. I'll show you the inside too, just so you can see. Yeah, it's not that bad. For a dollar, it's been, yeah, fabulous. Okay, we've got a brooch. I do not see a maker mark. But it's really cute. It's pretty. It's it's double z it's double orbs or double circles. With a little faux pearl. Textured. Pretty. That'd look pretty on a scarf, wouldn't it? Like, you know, on your shoulder or something. The pearl doesn't look bad at all. And then we've got the pin back like that. I would say maybe 70s on this one. 70s, early 80s maybe. Maybe. It, it could be 70s. Um, let's put four on that. I like that. That's pretty. Okay. Next, I think this was the listener. Nope. <laughs> Of course it's a Monet. Look how gold it is. This is this is beautiful. And it is Monet and it has a beautiful pin on it that does stick out a tiny. So we know this is a little bit older. Monet is a little bit older for pieces like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put tin on this. And it's beautiful. Okay, shoe clips, shoe clips. You guys have probably seen these before. These are darling, beautiful rhinestones. I haven't even cleaned these up still. So I'm gonna put $4 on the shoe clips, okay? And then we have, oh, this is so pretty. This is a pendant and a brooch. Alpaca cool. Okay. So on the back here, we've got the pin that does go a little bit farther. Sorry, did I just blind you? The pin does stick out some. There's the pendant piece. This is darling. Alpaca is not sterling. It's like a nickel silver. Um, it's a mixture of different alloys. I'm not sure how they make it. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to put 12 on it just because it is a brooch and a pendant. Very pretty. We've got the flower, which is the mother of pearl. The um, little pieces here are also mother of pearl. Um, and so is this. This is like the abalone. And that. I don't know what that is. Don't know. It's shiny. It's really pretty. Okay, set these back in this box. That's the only way I can keep them from bang. I don't want them to bang against each other. So I kind of keep them boxed up and then I'll put them back. I'll bubble wrap them and put them back. Okay, we've got some darling. Let's see if I can see this up close. This, I actually can see what I think is just enamel painting. I don't think it's cloisonne, but it's awfully pretty. Look at these flowers. Look at those. Isn't that beautiful? The background is kind of a lilac purple. You've got turquoise, you've got orange, and the creamy white, and the green. The backs are clips, and they're in great condition. And it's got that design on it. I'm not sure who the maker of this is. 
these are cute. Yeah, those are in great shape. So I'm going to put, let's put four on these. Yeah, those are really sweet. These type of earrings I would try to switch out. Or maybe even just try to wear with the clips over my ears because I think they're darling. Okay. Set those there. And then we have the beautiful Gold Tone Lion. It is from MMA, which is Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is one of their replicas of a piece. This is one of my favorite pieces of all times. Um, he is a beauty. Whenever I get these pieces, I try to pass them on to you guys. Um, I have not checked the price on this in a while. Um, do you care if I look it up? I hope not. It's just getting later and later. I'm sorry it's so late. Um, it's going to be really late once I get it. Yeah, MMA. Lion. Earrings. I mean, lion brooch. Sorry. Okay. I know it's here because I've seen it. There it is. Huh. So I'll check one of the um, consignment places. Um, because I don't want you guys to think I'm being ridiculous. Um, this one right here, they are going between 50 and 69. Mine looks very much like the one that goes for more. The other two are faded. I'll show them to you real quick. These are the ones that are 50 and 53. And then this is the one that's for 69 and it looks more like mine. Um, I just think it's beautiful. And that's really, I don't know, that's just beautiful. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I think a fair price for this would be 36 So I'm going to ask $36 for it. It's very, very pretty. I have some lion earrings. I don't know what I did with them. Hmm. Oh, I do know. I put them up. Okay. They're not gold. They're silver. So, he is right at two inches. And I'll take him off the card. He, he's, a, he's a brooch and a pennant also, which I think is just so cool. And he has the tiniest little thing. Come on. Okay. Let me see if I can get him off of there. He's off. Aren't you off of there? Poor thing. There we go. So, that's the back. And what it says, it says, MMA USA. I said it's also a pendant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Get it back in there. It's real small, so it won't bother you. If you do wear it as a pendant, this is so small, it's not going to bug you. Okay. So, I will put these over here. I don't want anything touching him. I don't want him to fade. So that was 36 on the lion. And moving right along. 
we have some earrings. I think these are from Sally. I do believe. These are beautiful. They don't seem to have a maker mark on these. They are clips. And they are just so pretty. Now these are definitely vintage. I'll show you the clips. Set these here. Oh, these are just too pretty. Okay. These are in good shape. Very silver tone. Okay. I'm going to set these out and then we'll go through them with the prices. So these are close to an inch a piece. Then I have these. Then I have, oh, this is so sweet. This is just too cool. This is Tiger's Eye. Then we have, whoops, a bracelet. That is just beautiful. I think I will have to, I'm going to have to do some investigating on that one. Um, here we have Whiting and Davis rings. These are very popular. I had about seven of them. I've sold them all, but these three. And then we have, and I think this is from Sally too. This is a crown trafari pin, pendant. Just gorgeous. Okay. So first of all, we'll go with the earrings. These things are darling. They are probably a resin that looks like enamel paint there. And I just think they're just sweet as pie. Sweet as pie. And I'm going to put six on those. These are actually supposed to be jade. And they're super cold. So we have the three colors of jade. Um, I'm looking for bubbles and I don't see any. I see things you would see if it was jade. There's a purple and then there's a red. Um, I hope you guys can see through see what I see as far as little veining and little areas and they are like I said ice cold okay the size I think they were like an eight no I was wrong these are a nine just write it and we'll just say nine the pink is a nine the purple is a nine. Yeah, these are going to about nine and a quarter. So there's that one. The pink one's gorgeous. So I put the pink and purple on. These are beautiful. Look at that. Stack all three of them if you can wear them. Okay, and I'm doing this set for $30. $10 a piece, $30. I'm not going to break them up. So they go together for $30. Can you hear them? They are very, very unusual. They're very pretty. Okay, put those there. Alright, this has the little bullet on the end, which I think is just darling. It is not magnetic. This has tiger's eye and the little flower. Isn't that sweet? Let's see if I can get to this. There we go. And the little um, flower has like little filigree petals. It's just too cute. And I think this came from um, Vintage Discoveries also. It's really pretty. So I'm going to put six on this one just because it's just darling. 
Okay, the Crown Trafari brooch. Almost looks like a Saworski. Very pretty. Isn't that pretty? And he's about an inch and a quarter, I think. Something like that. Yeah, that's about right. And I'm gonna put six on him. And these rings, these are very unusual. Okay, I can't remember where it's written. There it is. Okay, Whiting and Davis. Stamped. Right there. Okay, you probably just have to believe me. It's right in there. And these are like a, probably a bronze over copper. This is beautiful. It's just unusual. I mean, they're older. They're made by a fabulous company. This is a size almost a seven. And these, I don't think you can size these, can you? Mm -mm. Nope, I don't think so. So let's do this. I'll show it to you on my finger finger. These are just really interesting. I think that's just a faux stone. But it's just so cool. So these are 25 a piece. So this one's 25. And then I'll show you the second one. And it has Whiting and Davis, same spot. Right in there. And this one has like a cabochon that is kind of domed. There's that. Look at that. Isn't that wild? That's pretty. Okay. And I don't see anything else on it. It's open work in the back. So is this one. And I mean, yeah, they do have a little bit of wear to them, but they're just so interesting. This one also says Whiting and Davis, the same spot. And it is probably about the same size. And this is just too cool. This has a little bit of filigree work around the edge here, almost like a swag that goes around it. And the greens, oh, I don't know what that is. That's like man-made something. But it looks mosaic almost. Look at it. And this one is also very close to an eight, I would say. No, that's not. It's a seven and a half. Okay. So these are 25 a piece. And they're fabulous. They are yummy. Just yummy. Okay. We can do a few more. We are moving right along. Let's grab this batch here. Okay. These are just some really cute earrings. These here are... These little door knockers are just too cute. And these... <laughs> you guys, these are Premier Design. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah, and they've got their original backs on them. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you what, these are pretty. These are pierced, they're not clips. Premier Design Gold Tone is fabulous. Yeah, these are really nice earrings. So I'm gonna put eight on these. Those are pretty, those you could wear today. Okay, these earrings actually go with a necklace. Do I see it? 
So I'll put these over to the side and hope I can, I'm sure the necklace is over here. Okay, next we have just some little bows. The gold and silver tone. They're really a nice clip. And these don't have a name. I've got these. Aren't those amazing? Yeah, those are really pretty. Those right there. They're about an inch. And they are not lightweight. They are really nice. Well made. So I'm going to do five on these. Those are clips. Okay, the next pair is a fabulous pair that is not marked. And I could have sworn these were either Eisenberg or something. They're just gorgeous. Okay, so they've got a uh, kind of a rainbow colored AV to them. These are beautiful. Wear them like that, wear them like that. And these are in just perfect condition. And I'm going to put 10 on these. I love these. These are beautiful. They almost look like a little falling star or something. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll leave them right there. Okay, the next pair is a pierced pair, and they are Avon. And they're really kind of cute. They almost look like a, I don't know what those are, sunflower maybe? With the little um, dots, which are little seed beads. That's cute. And then the back of them are perfect. They look great. And Avon is written right there. So we'll put, let's put three on those. Those are cute. We have a little tie pin, a little stick pin, and it is a leaf, and it is really tiny, and you guys, it has a ladybug on it. Tiny, tiny. You see that? <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. That's the back. It's in excellent shape. And so I'm going to put five on that. That's just too cute. Make sure it's all okay. Yeah. And then these are different. These are screw backs. I don't see a name on them. But they have the coolest frosted glass. Kind of, um, yeah. Like etched out. Put that one there for you to see. And then here's the other one. Probably just needs a little bath. Isn't that amazing? So I'll put five on those. Those are so cool. Just too cool. Okay. Next. What do I want to do? Oh, let's do this. And then we'll stop after this little group. Okay, I have a pair of Bell Badgley Mishka. And these have sterling, what do you call it? Um, posts. And some nice backs to them. These were originally $38. There. And these are really pretty. Look at those. That's a fabulous star. Love them. So I'm going to put 12 on them. I don't think they've ever been off their card. Could be wrong, but they are beautiful. Beautiful. Um, 
Let's see if they got a mark on these. Nope. But that is quite all right. These are pretty. Okay, so we've got those, and they're about an inch and three quarter drop. Okay, now we have. These are Joan Rivers, I do believe. Where is my. There it is. There's it somewhere. I just know where I'm there. Oh, there it is. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. This one's Joan Rivers. And these are darlings. Isn't this pretty? Like a blue um, dyed quartz. Just really pretty. Very interesting. So we'll put eight on those. Then we have the same. We have the Joan Rivers. And we have this cut crystal. That is just beautiful. It feels pretty. So I'm going to put ten on those. Man, they're pretty. A, B, and kind of a turquoise color. Yeah, those are beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> These all are Joan Rivers. Let's see if you can see that. Joan Rivers. And there's a these are what you would call a jewel tone set of three. These look absolutely brand new. I put them on this card. They were on another card that was all ear, you know, the tabs are all worn down, bent. Aren't those beautiful? And then I'll show you the backs. The backs are perfect. There's the backs. They're kind of that gunmetal. Um, I'll put this three-piece set. Let's do. Uh, let's do this three-piece set for twenty-two. Very pretty. Very very pretty. You would not need much else with these because you could do silver or gold tone with this dark metal. They're kind of a dark gun metal, almost black. Um, not quite. Almost, though. Uh, we're almost at an hour. We are doing fabulous. As long as it will upload. Okay. These are um, Sororski. S-A-L. These are gorgeous. Um, I'll show you the writing on this side. It's S-A-L. Look at the stones. <laughs> Beautiful. These are like a teardrop clip. They would sit on your ear just like this. Um, show you the back. That one also. Yeah. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking to make sure everything's okay on these. These are beautiful. Okay. With these, I think I'm going to do... Let's do 22 on these. They're gorgeous. Yeah, we've done really well on the time. I'm almost finished. Okay, so these are just, these are, 
to mark also. These are have a funny little mark and then an F-O. And somebody told me what these were, and I cannot remember F-O. I cannot remember. Oh, that the back fell off of this one. Okay, so on these F-O, faux pearl and the um, double ring, I'm going to do six on these. They are marked. They're a marked pair. These turtles are, mm, they're just beautiful. These turtles are also Jones, Joan Rivers. Um, I'll show them to you. They have the cabochon with the turtle on top. The cabochon is kind of a dark, kind of an amber brown. And when the light shines on it, it does glare. You know, you get a little glare. And I'm going to look these up again and show them to you real quick. Because they're just too sweet. Um, Joan Rivers Turtles. Turtles. Turtle earrings. Okay. And they seem to pop right up. Last time they did. Yep, they're right here. Um, we'll check them out real quick. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Cash on to here. I think mine are in better condition. They have more gold on the turtle part. Okay. This is just one pricing for the turtles. Okay. That way I don't want you guys to think I'm just losing my mind, as usual. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put 23 on these. It's kind of an odd number. It's like half of that. Those are just too cute. And then the last two things I have on here are the cutest. I think you can see this. These are our Joan Rivers pansy brooches. And they are so cute. Um, Oh, they're cute. See, there's one, and it's got the little deep colored violet center rhinestone. It's like really pretty. Same color as the enamel work. Here's one, and here's the second one. This one has a little more gold tone. It's this down here, right there. Pin back up on here, and I'll show you the difference. One has more purple, and one has more yellow or gold. I'm sorry, aren't those pretty? You can see them setting on something. Yeah, they are really pretty. So, I'm gonna put 20 on these. And I'd like to sew them together. Aren't they darling? Pansies. That's something my grandmother grew quite a few of. And I, they used to scare me as a little bitty, little bitty kid. Because they looked like they had faces. <laughs> I'd be looking at her like, why? Why do the flowers have faces? And she would laugh. She was like a master gardener. So, I mean... She just thought that was a hoop. Well, things are going well. I'm putting everything up. I'll divide the things that we've already gone through. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed seeing this. I've been holding these, holding on to these for quite some time. Um, I don't like to keep 
all this stuff because it's just, it's not what it's for. It's not to keep, you know. It's, you can pick and choose what you want to keep, but you don't want to keep it all, you know. So, I don't want to get it mixed up what we've been through and what we haven't. So, I'll move that there. And I want you guys to know that tomorrow will be the giveaway. And I will do a random drawing sometime in the evening. And uh, we'll find out who won. And I'm hoping that you guys will have a real peaceful weekend. Um, you know, they're talking... COVID is kind of coming back around, so you guys be really careful what you're doing and who you're doing, you know, who you're around, and um, if you're not vaccinated, you need to really watch what you're doing. If you don't want to get vaccinated, you know what? That's fine. That's not a problem at all with me, but it's scary. I want you guys to get sick. So, anyway... I will get back with you guys tomorrow in the evening. I will do the giveaway by itself. So, you know, that won't take long, a couple minutes. And then we'll get back into the vintage. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. And um, the little man will probably come see you tomorrow. He's been really having a tough time with his little teeth. So I didn't want him to get on here and start crying because <laughs> he's been real fussy. So, you guys have a, you know, blessed evening, um, and we will get back with you tomorrow. Talk to you soon, guys. Thanks so much again.